Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's have a look at this video where we are teaching an enemy to bounce off the side walls and it's also going to flip over the sprite so that you don't need to create a new object. So let's look at this game running to start with. Okay, well, just having a look at it here, you will see that my enemy is sitting in the middle of the screen and it's got its eyes facing to the right. Okay, well, let's set that fella in motion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say in the events that when the object is created, then over here, and I'm going to scroll across by holding down my shift bar and dragging in that space there. I am going to set the movement or the speed, which is actually its proper name. I'm going to set its sp speed horizontal to 7 so that it will go across the screen. Now, I'm going to do a second step here because I think that you're ready for this. Is I'm going to add another event and I'm going to say that when it does other and it intersects the boundary, then what it does is reverse. So there we go, reverse. So it will change its direction, and I'm saying it will change it on the horizontal. So I'm going to save that, and I'm going to give it a quick run, and let's look at that in action. Okay, so there it is moving, and you'll see when it hits the boundary, that it actually bounces off the boundary and comes back. Now that's actually got a little bit of a margin on it, which I'm surprised by, but basically it goes back and forth. But you'll notice that there's no change in the sprite. Well, let's um, teach that to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to set this thing on a step and what a step is it happens once a frame which means 60 times a second. So I'm going to use this if variable so I can see it there but this is how I'd search for it if and what I'm searching for is this built-in variable called h speed. So that's its horizontal speed. So if it is greater than zero which means it's moving to the right so if it's doing that, well then what I'm going to do is set the instance of the sprite to look like it's moving to the right. So let's pop that there. So yeah, that's right. So it's facing that way. Now, then I say else, so that means that if that is not greater than zero, so in other words, if it's zero or lower, then and let's just pop this in here. Else, well, I'm going to set my instance my scale there we go pop it in next to there and so that's going to be minus one so 60 times a second is going to check and see what this h speed is am i moving at a speed of greater than zero or is that not true which will be moving the other way and i'm going to flip the sprite now sounds nice but let's see if it actually works okay so there it is it hits the side and it flips over and it hits the other side and it flips over again so that works exactly like we'd like it to, so I hope you get that to work too.